been joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. We've got the Supersonics and the Portland Trailblazers. And the Trailblazers start out with the ball. Now let's take a look at the Sonics opening lineup. They've got Bell. Hezonia is out there with Rudy Gay. And there's Iguodala. And it's Jerome in at the point. Now, here's Lillard. Whiteside. And the layup is good. You got to keep Whiteside off the glass because he's a huge threat to put misses back in. And a bounce back season for Whiteside. Got the minutes he wanted with Portland and showed he could still be an impact player. Yes, yeah, he showed he's still a monster when it comes to blocks and rebounds. This year will be the most telling with Whiteside. Got a new deal. I want to see if he's pushing himself or reverts to lazy play. Now Lillard following Rudy Gay's three-point attempt. No good on the three. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, Seattle's head coach and I did get the chance to chat. He recognizes the challenge of staying connected to Damian Lillard defensively. Coach told me Lillard's become so comfortable well beyond the arc, you have to be in his shirt from 30 feet plus. Let's see if they can succeed at that dance tonight. Kevin? Thanks, David. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Lasagna, the pass to Jerome. Rudy Gay on the wing. Back to Hezonia. And finished off by Hezonia. Oh, and Gay is a man of many talents. A sharp passer who puts the team above all else. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the Trailblazers. Here's Lillard. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And last season, Lillard is doing more playmaking than prior years, a career high in assist for him. Well, we all know that Dave can score whenever he wants to. But this team is better when he's setting up. Take a break. Little knows break. that. I expect him to continue to spread the ball around. The first free throw is good. Well, we've seen some head coaching changes, Greg. We're early in the season. How long does it take to fully implement, do you think, a a new system with a new coach? You know, it's a tough question, Kevin. It really can, can depend on how difficult or complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. Well, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. Here's Gay, and Whiteside sends it back. But because of Whiteside's instincts and awareness, he can pretty much block anything in his proximity. Hood, the pass to McCollum. Whiteside, and Whiteside stays right with it. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. And the first time out of the game called for Seattle. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. They're forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. Jerome just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter and now here's his own for by hood Bell passes to Jerome the Sonics again can't hit the rotation in the D could be better here it, it'll cost them next time it's not and that one's good Lillard better play up on Lillard at all times, especially when the pass is coming his way. You gotta know he's ready to shoot once he catches it. Jerome passes to Bell. To the left wing. Fires the three. The Sonics again can't hit. Now you don't see that very well. A wide open three is usually like a layup for him. And it's Hazania with the foul. That's his first foul. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And early in a the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Oh, 
First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Lillard, the pass to Whiteside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Oh, that tough D doesn't fade Whiteside. He gets physical right back and finds the shot. The Trailblazers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. At the line, shoot two. The first one falls. Yeah, and that's what you like about Whiteside. I mean, the rim protection, the rebounding, the intimidation factor. I mean, still developing as an offensive player, making strides, but not there yet. And both free throws good from Whiteside. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. The Sonics again can't hit. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Offensive rebound. Here's Little. No good off the front iron. Seattle trails by eight. Here's Jerome. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Azania. And once again off the mark by Seattle. He has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. Gay passes to Jerome. Igudala outside. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Nasir Little picks one up. Look, he runs, jumps like a gazelle. Igudala, a special person and athlete. This is his first free throw of the game. And he can't get the first one. Well, the veteran leadership and wisdom Iguodala offers, I mean, it's huge. I mean, he's a glue guy who does whatever is asked of. He's off on the second. And it's Willard with the ball. He brings it up for the Trailblazer. And Damian Willard with the jam. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, we got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. Seattle calls timeout. They're trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. Seattle with the ball. Trailing by 10. Here's Jerome. He's covered by Whiteside. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Jerome passes to Gay. To the inside. Six on the shot clock, and Bell kicks to Hazania. From deep, Big Udawa sinks the three-pointer. Oh, and squaring up is Igodala. Nice follow-through on the release. Lillard, right side, Little, and it's Little finishing it off. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Well, you think defensively that you try to pack in the lane. I mean, but that that opens up some opportunities for their shoes. Now, here's Gay. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Portland with the ball. They have a nine-point lead. McCollum kicks to Hood. Pass to Lillard. 
from 12 feet out. The putback, great positioning on the putback. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Whiteside's gone three for three from the floor. Iguodala, the pass to Hazania. Here's Jerome. To the middle. Little with the rebound. He's gone off the rails this quarter. It's a bad time to do it. I mean, but they're needing to fight from behind. Seattle shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Well, Greg, with your son getting drafted, you join the ranks of some historic NBA father-son duos. You know, I got the opportunity to play with Arvidas Sabonis in Portland and remember DeMontis as a little kid. No and now kidding. he's an all-star no last year. <laughs> you know, I think you're going to have an influx of that in the coming years. Dwayne Wade's son is a terrific player. We know about LeBron's son's ability. Uh, he's possibly heading to the league one day. You just never know. I, I'm... I'm as a dad, it's going to get the opportunity to watch his son play excited, but uh, I think we're going to see more of this in the future. Uh, Cole and Greg Anthony, I like the way that sounds. <laughs> He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held them back as a team. Not going to keep Bell down. Uh, he takes pride in muscling his way through any obstacle the defense presents. Back to Lillard. Portland moving the ball around. And stolen by Gay. Eleven feet away. Second chance shot, and oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. And the astonishing athleticism of Gay puts defenders in a bind. He knows how to get under this game. The SuperSonic shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And the first one drops. And when it comes to athletic small forwards, Gay is the cream of the crop. An aggressive player whose reach really helps him on both offense and defense. And Seattle making a change here. Poirier's checked in. Rudy Gay hits them both. Portland leading by six. Inside, and the basket by Lillard. Lillard's got eight points. Well, talking about Lillard, he's so good as a scorer in the paint. I mean, he's probably just as good as any point guard. Passed again. Fades. No good on the shot. And it's Portland the other way. He shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Here's Little. Does not score with that shot. It's his second miss against two made shots. Here's Caruso. No points in the game yet for him. And he comes up with the deuce. You know what? Struggling a little bit, but I do command the effort. Two of eight from the field. Let's see if that one gets him going. Here's Nurkic. Fourier grabs the miss. Seattle trails by six. Here's Caruso. Here's Toppin. Nurkic with the block. His coaches and teammates like this type of energy. Nurk is demonstrating that he could be an anchor on the defense. Four on the clock. They get it again. Poirier. And finally, that one's good. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Lillard. He's got eight. The dish to Nurkic. Back to Lillard. And the three ball is good. He's got 11. And loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. Well, you look at the career that Dame Lillard has had so far. Taken sixth in the 2012 draft out of Weber State, a small school. But this guy became a franchise player immediately for the Blazers. 
Now here's Gay. He has six. Another miss by Gay. D playing soft off him. He might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about them not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Here's Korkmaz. Damian Lillard pulls it in. And thinking of Lillard, the numbers over his career are incredible. And Lillard found his strength as a shooter. And boy, did he exploit it. He's been averaging 20 points per game almost his entire career. And he's kept adding to his game as one of the elite players in our league. Here's game. After the basket by Noah Vonley. Shot to stop the run. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Nasir Little picks one up. And Gay is just so crafty inside, forcing the defense to hit him in the paint. For Seattle, they have been after free throws in this one, going three of six so far. That's good from Rudy Gay. So for the Trailblazers, Collins comes in for Noah Vonley. Rodney Hood subbed in for Little. And the Supersonics also making a change. Labissiere's checked in. And so Gay nails both of them. Trailblazers leading by nine. Lillard outside. Kicks it out to Cohen. Outside hood. Three pointer. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball movement. Here's Caruso. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Five on the clock. Here's Korkmaz, and right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. The Rico, come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Talk about great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Lillard surveying the D. And Hood, the bucket on the assist by Lillard. Hood's got his second basket of the night. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Portland out in front as they wrap up the first quarter with a 13-5 run from Portland. We're back in a moment. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, the Trailblazers enjoying a nice lead here. Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Yeah, they're clawing, they're grinding, they're doing anything they could to make the most of their possessions. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for Seattle. A 12-point game. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. Collins plays the four with Nurkic at the five. Then it's Rodney Hood. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Trent in a shooting guard. Now the pass to Lillard. Basket good. Lillard is such a crafty finisher. Even when he takes a pound, he sticks with it. Greg, when you played for the Knicks, I always heard that Charles Oakley would cook for the players. Is that true? Absolutely. Oak was very particular about his food. And I got to tell you, he knows his way around the kitchen. And to be honest, I would never What's tell up? him otherwise. Well, what was his special? Whatever he made, it was special. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. That free throw good from Lillard. A rapper off the court, a number zero from the town, an elite point guard. He has plenty of personality. He's, he's a fun guy to be around. Pass to Corkmines. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Six to shoot. They grab their own miss and finish off by Hezonia. And, and how about the offensive rebound with a little extra punch? 
on the putback. You're right, Craig. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the board from here on out? Maybe, just maybe. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldrich. Kevin, good evening. Well, last season, the Blazers were beset by injuries, and they fell short of their goals. Their star, Damian Lillard, said, once we're in a better position, I want people to remember how I responded when things didn't go my way so that they know my character is true. Kevin, we know that Dame grew up in Oakland, a place where overcoming adversity was ingrained. Back to you. Thank you, D.A. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Oh, look at him before! It's easy to forget about Lillard's hops. I mean, this guy has some sick dunks up his throat. Here's Caruso, covered by Lillard. And here is LeBissier. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Corkmoss. His three-pointers off the mark. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Collins dishes to Lillard. Makes that one fall. Takes his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Korkmaz kicks to Hazania. Let's it go. That one a little long. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him. But he has not been an asset for his team. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. And Yusuf Nurkic missing a whole calendar year not too long ago. Was still involved with the team during that stretch and was a fixture on their bench. Yeah, shout out to my boy Nurkic, bro. Hey, bro, you had some wild shirts on the sideline. I couldn't even watch the game. You was over there dizzying your cats up. But uh, I know you were doing your thing, but he would use clothing to call out other players, teams, and commentators. Nurkic doesn't miss words, and I'm glad he's back in front Seattle trails by 19. Here's Jerome. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Now Hizonia. Clock at four. The Sonics again can't hit. And the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for Seattle. Passes it to Hazania. Here's Jerome. Covered by Lillard. Jerome passes to Iguodala. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. And a moment now to check out who Seattle has coming up. On Saturday, they'll go up against Chris Dapps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. Then on Sunday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the New Orleans Pelicans. We'll call them outside. Lillard from outside. It's hauled in by the Sonics. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Iguodala, the pass to Jerome. The shot's good on the assist by Iguodala. Jerome's got himself on the board with three there. Oh, and with the fast eyes, Iguodala finding the open man. McCollum against Iguodala. Step back shot. Here's Whiteside. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Whiteside's got ten. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Pass to Hazania. Labissier with the ball. He's guarded by Collins. Labissier, the pass to Jerome. And again, Seattle with the triple. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. 
McCollum finds Lillard. From outside the arc. Not going to go that time. Seattle goes the other way with it. To the paint. Bell passes to Jerome. The pass to Hazania. Here's Igudala. And the three off target. To the middle. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. They get it back. Count it. He's got 12. Oh, and I love when Whiteside hustles in the open floor. I mean, making himself a big target in transition. Pass to Hazania. Kicks it to Igudala. Passes it to Jerome. Bell with some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Lasagna, the pass to LeBissier. Collins with some nice D. Portland leading by 19. McCollum with the ball, and it's Iguodala picking him up. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Pass to LeBissier. Here's Jerome. And now Portland on the break. Lillard with the ball over his own yet. Here's Whiteside. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Whiteside's got 14 points for the game. And stolen by Hood. Goes up. A huge slam. The perfect end of the fast break. That's how you run the open floor. Hood is skilled at finding ways at finding available space in these situations. Here's LeBissier, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. The Sonics have shot five of eight from the foul line. Noah Vonley, he's checked in for Portland. Little comes in for Rodney Hood. Then for the Supersonics, Toppin comes in for Bell. And Rudy Gay is subbed in for Mario Hazoni. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg. Do you think that's worked out as intended? You don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get the one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and, and the fans. You don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No, absolutely not. Here's Jerome, covered by Lillard. LaVissier, no good. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Iguodala outside. Five to shoot. And it's blocked by Whiteside. And now running up the court, Lillard pushing it up. He kicks it to Little. The pass to McCollum. Whiteside trying to break free. And McCollum the bucket on the assist by Little. McCollum's got five points now in the quarter. Here's Jerome. Covered by Lillard. That one drops for him. Uh, the D doing all they can, but LeVisiel is just a master at finishing from there. I mean, even while getting hit. Back to Lillard. And it's Iguodala with the rebound. And pushing it up. Here's Seattle. Nobody near Gay. Nets the corner three. Gay's got 11 points. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. That's the Bonley. Back to Lillard. High arcing shot, and that's two points on the layup. Lillard's got 26 points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. The BC Air up top. Passes to Jerome. The BC Air. It's good on the putback. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. So timeout called here. The first for Portland.
for the Sox. Poirier's checked in. And it's Moss in for Andre Igudel. Pass to Trent. To the left side wing. Little kicks to McCullough. Trent passes to Von Lowe. Seattle Collins. Portland shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And a season ago at the charity strike, this is a group that shot an impressive 81 percent. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And both free throws, good for Von. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Inside, and he slams it one-handed. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Trailblazers leading by 22. Here's Trent. Goes up with the strike. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And good luck trying to keep Nurkic off the glass. I mean, using his boot strength well on the offensive boards. And the pass to Gay. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The wide-open shot by Little. And it's off from three-point range. Little's gone two of five from the floor. Pass to Toppin. Here's Caruso. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Just five to shoot. Here's Toppin. Rebound by Nurkic. Oh, you hate to let those easy chances slip through your fingers. Passes it to McCollum. Marries the long-range jumper. McCollum's got eight points in the quarter. And sometimes McCollum is automatic from there. You, you can't give him the shot if you're the deep. And so it's Portland rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We've got more in store for you right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. Damian Lillard has been having a big night. He ended up with 26 points, and no doubt that C.J. McCollum's a great player all the time. But Shaq, he has that DNA where he turns it up for big. Yes, he does. He's proved to be a fantastic playoff performer. McCollum has a sense of when he needs to play. Yeah, well, very few players can take over like McCollum. I mean, this guy's ISO ability is probably in the top five in the NBA, so there's no slowing him down when he gets on the road. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Really an incredible game from Lillard. No problem fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. On the court right now for the Sonics, we've got Rudy Gay. He's out there with Mario Hezonia. Iguodala out there with Bell. And it's Jerome in at the point guard. And McCollum on the floor, all business off the court. He's a very outspoken player, very colorful guy. And Greg, you were saying you, you see a future in media form when he, when he stops playing. No doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, McCollum spoke up quickly about the seriousness of the virus when they were playing. He's very knowledgeable and shares what's on his mind. A media position after he's done playing is a very real possibility if he chooses to. 
And here's McCullum for three. They get the rebound. Whiteside, good. This is the kind of player that Whiteside can be on offense. We'd love to see this more consistently. Gay outside. Kicks to Iguodala. Pass to Jerome. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Trailblazers. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Hood can't get it to go. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. Pizzonia with the ball. Gay trying to break free. Pizzonia's shot is off. It's still early, but a one for four start to the half, that's a bad sign if you ask me. If they've got a can't-miss play, now's the time to break the glass and pull it out. Now the pass to Bell. Hassan Whiteside grabs the miss. Whiteside's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Hood drives in. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Hard to cover a shooter of Whiteside's height. I mean, defender tries to make up the difference in foul. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good from White Sox. And here are the Sonics. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. From deep, Igudawa. Portland grabs the miss. Whiteside's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Here's Hood. A rebound by Igudawa. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on C.J. McCullough. And you're talking about a guy that can do so many things, make so many things happen. Igor Dollar headed to the line. The Sonics have shot 67% from the line, going six of nine. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Collins checked in for a little. And so he makes both from the line. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Lillard bounce pass. Hood the pass to Collins. McCollum outside. Portland no good that time either. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. That's his second personal foul. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. McCollum kicks to Lilly. Back to McCollum from deep, and it's good assisting on the play was Miller. McCollum's got 11 points. You gotta know McCollum is looking to fire off the pass. This is why you must play up on him. Pass to Azania. 
Gay scanning the floor. Shot clock at six. Over Collins. No good from Gay. And so Hood will bring it up for the Trailblazers. McCollum, and he converts the layup. McCollum's got five points in the quarter. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And finished off by Hezonia. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Here's McCollum. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Iguodala has got his fourth rebound in this one. He doesn't hit that one. Good D by McCollum. He kicks it to Lillard. Here's Whiteside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's clearly a foul. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. And, and not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. Two, two. That free throw, no good for the Sonics. LeBissier has checked in for game. And it's Moss in for Andre Iguodala. And the second free throw, good. Seattle with the ball. Here's Jerome, and that one drops. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Lillard, the pass to Whiteside. He's looking for Lillard and finds him. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. The Trailblazers have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And Seattle making a change here. Caruso's checked in. Shooting one. throw good Damian Lillard and now here's his six points for him drills the three-pointer his has got five points now in the quarter but the D didn't do a good enough job on him he could be an ace when he gets a good look at three Lillard outside the three the Trailblazers rebound Nurkic trying to get open well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Norkic has got his second bucket of the night. Down low, Bell's shot is good. Hard to knock Bell off his game. Even when you get aggressive with him, he stays with you. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Lillard with the bucket. And with the game he's having, there's no doubt he'll be the guy they lean on to protect the lead. And now, here's Hezonia. He's covered closely. Good work there as it goes. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. A floater, and McCollum with the layup. McCollum's got 15 points. And you gotta love McCollum's game. His floater is soft, but dead. And here is his own young. He's got 11. McCollum outside. Trent. Rebounded by Bell. I mean, he struggles with his finishes sometimes. I mean, it's kept him from being an elite player. His own young on the wing. Ball's knocked loose. To the inside. Bell's shot is good. Bell's got his third basket of the night right there. An impressive awareness from Bell right there. Sensing an opportunity to cash in and get going. Back to Norkic. Now McCollum. 15 points in the game. Hits the jumper in space. McCollum's got nine points now in just the second half. 
Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter, taking it on himself to guide their offense. And that one's good, Caruso. Excellent work offensively to get that shot attempt into a can't-miss area. Lillard from outside, drops in the tray. Lillard's got 10 points in the quarter. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the night. He's not making much of an impact from deep. Pazonia with the ball. He's got 11. Lock at six. And the rejection by Collins. An established defender at a young age. Collins has the timing and the reach to block shots. Here's Caruso. He's guarded by Collins. Korkmaz passes to Hazania. Connects from three-point range. Hazania's got 14. But how about this turnaround? He played a fringe role in the first half, and, and now he's the man for this. Here's Lillard off the left rim and out. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Supersonics. Korkma is no good. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. And Korkma is the Turkish guard taken at the end of the first round in 2016. Spent a year overseas before joining the NBA and didn't play much early on. But last season he showed he's a starting caliber player. We've got 155 left in the third quarter. This year kicks to Hazania. He dishes it to Bell. Here's Korkmaz. Off target from outside. Now with Korkmaz standing 6-7. Greg, there's a lot to like. And his size can be a huge advantage in certain matchups. Yeah, the great wingspan also lets him grab a fair amount of steals. Has worked hard to get where he is and still showing room to grow. Throws it up high. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Lillard attacking, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. For the Trailblazers, Lonley's checked in for Zach Collins, and it's Little in for C.J. McCollum. And then for Seattle, Poirier's checked in, and it's topping in for Scalabissier. Here's Caruso. Korkmaz passes to Gay. Over Little. Gay misses. His effort level is there. You, you can't blame him on that. He's working to get good shots. It's just not connected. And the basket is good. Nurkic has got six points. But sometimes it's impossible to contain Nurkic. At his height and weight, he's great at finishing through contact. Pass to Gay. Here's Toppin. 20 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Gay outside. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Norkic in the post. Off target at the rim. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. It's the Trailblazers running away with it from Portland. We're back in a moment. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. This is where the NBA's headed. I mean, multi-dimensional big man. That was just a beautiful pass. And 
and we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. They've got McDaniels. Von Lay's out there with Ogilvy. Then it's Neesmith. And it's Simons in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Pass to Ogilvy. Now here's McDaniels. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. Here's Bowman. Inside. Here's Gay. He gets that one. Oh, and the wily athleticism of Gay helps him in these situations. Just so clever at finding ways to bury shots against defenders. Here's Simons. We know, Greg, the NBA is full of uh, superstars, yet you can foul out of the game after six personal fouls, and some have suggested instead just tacking on an extra free throw when a player commits their sixth-plus foul, and, and then they can stay in the game. You know, I, I think something along those lines could make sense. It, no doubt it's tough to see the marquee player riding the bench because it's not just the sixth foul, right? In some coaches, you pick up two in the first quarter, you're done for the quarter. You pick up a third and a second, you're done for the half. Yes. So I, I, I would like to see something, but I think it's got to also be fair. Maybe you get free throws and another possession. Uh, maybe something along those lines uh, might be in the best interest of the game. Look, he pounces up a chance with a deep falls asleep. Easy to. Oh, come on, fella. And power it down. That dunk was ridiculous. There was absolutely nobody that was going to get in the way of that finish. And there's the pass to Simons. Now, here's McDaniel. Not a lot of room. Shoots it up. Poirier grabs the miss. Poirier's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Bowman. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul goes against Portland. Ty Bowman. Two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Down the stretch of last season, Greg, we saw some teams resting healthy players, even ones out of the playoff hunt, and they got fined. But is the, the amount, which I think is about 25000 is that enough to discourage that tactic? You know, I don't think it is. Uh, not when team revenues are measured in the hundreds of millions. Uh, you got to do more to keep them honest, but by the same token, you know, if I got 100, 200 million invested in a guy, I want to protect my investment. And so mm -hmm. if I can rest them here or there and prolong their career, I, I think my organization's all the better for it. Here's Igudala up again. Green controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Neesmith, the pass to McDaniels. Drops in the layup for two. Here's Bowman. Pass to Poirier. Here's Bowman. Shot clock at five. Get the teardrop. Poirier, no good. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. Oh, Jeff, he put some <laughs> anger behind that one. You're telling me. Here's Bowman. Passes to Poirier. Here's Bowman. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Pass to Neesmith. There's the triple. Drills it from outside. Neesmith has got five points in the quarter. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Yeah, the D like that isn't going to get you back in the game. <laughs> you have to stay connected to these shooters. McDaniels dishes to Bonley. Simons, the pass to Vonley. McDaniels kicks to Ogilvy. Here's Simons. That shot is off. And it's the Sonics taking it the other way. 
Igudala the pass to Bowman. Back to Igudala. To stop the drought, and he sinks the layup. Oh, the rugged physicality Iguodala brings to the game is special. What a performer this guy is. Here's Simons. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. And they're running. Here's McDaniels. And finished off by McDaniels. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. And that one, good. Here's Simons. Greg, last season was kind of a rough one. Very turbulent for the NBA. The China controversy. The passing of David Stern, Kobe Bryant, and finally... The COVID pandemic. Other than that, <laughs> it was kind of uneventful. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I mean, an incredibly tough year. Wow. You know, you just go back to March, and who would have ever thought we would go through what we went through? And you talked about all the other issues, David Stern and Kobe both passing. You know, I, I'm just hopeful we get a return to normality because that sounds pretty good right about now. It sure does. Bacon's shot is off. Bacon's gone one of three shooting so far. The pass to Simons. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, Anthony's getting more floor time last season. He worked his way into the Blazers' rotation. Shooting young, though. It seems like he could carve a roll out on this team. Taking two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. And the first one drops. And Simon's a bit undersized at that two-guard position. Only 6'3", but a natural two with playmaking ability. Ultimately, this team wants him to be a scoring threat off the bench. I mean, have him come in firing from outside. He's got a lot of work to get to that point, though. Bell is checked in for Seattle. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. A lot of big decisions have fallen on Adam Silver's shoulders, the commissioner of the NBA, and... Greg, I think you and I agree by all accounts he has succeeded with flying colors. I mean, wouldn't you agree? No doubt about it. I mean, I, I don't know that you could have had a better person for the times. Uh, Adam Silver is to be commended, but I think also appreciated, not just from the players and the owners, but I think our fans should also appreciate who he is as a person. I, I, I've often said that commissioners typically uh, work for the owners. He's the one commissioner, no matter the sport, that I've always felt like was a partner of the players as well. It's Bell on the wing. There's Bacon. And that one hits back iron. And, guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Come on, you can't be selfish. you got to be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, it's just predictable. Here's Bowman, and McDaniels with the block. Here's Bell, and Jamichael Green picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. And Portland again with the bucket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here's Bowman. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. Here's Bacon with the fadeaway. And that one drops for him. Bacon's got four points in the quarter. Here's Simons. The tray buries it from three-point range. 
He's pulling out all the tricks this quarter. They can't figure out how to stop. To the middle, Bell passes to Bacon. Craig, we're seeing the game evolve. We're seeing more and more big men displaying perimeter skills. Do you like that, or is there a part of you that misses those days when it all played out inside the lane in a very condensed area? Hey, listen, Kev, I, I think the game has Take kind of evolved Take on from Two shots. Uh, the impact that the bigs had on, on the interior, but not the impact that they're having on the game. Uh, it, 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 the reality is the game just doesn't stand still. And, and now as a big, you've got to have far more versatility. you got to be able to play in space. Uh, and, and as a fan, I just find the game to be more appealing to watch with the freedom of movement, the flow, uh, and, and more of the skill set being put on display. I agree. And he sinks the second. Here's Simons. Kept alive. Kicks it to Vonley. McDaniels passes to Simons. Oats one up. And three chances on that possession. But they just couldn't find a way to score. Pass to Bacon. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Igudala. That's tipped. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Trailblazers. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one, a terrific night for Lillard. His vision and his ball movement impressed me the most. A tremendous night for him passing the basketball. Here's Bell. Ojale grabs the rebound. And Simons has got the ball here for Portland. 30 seconds left to play in the final quarter. To end the drought. Neesmith can't get it to go. Seattle with the ball. Igudala left side. Passes it to Bacon. And the layup falls. And that's exactly what they're going for on that shot. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. They poured it on a night. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And that about wraps it up for Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.